Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Skelliger. Uh, welcome back to The Last Door. Today we're on Chapter 2. Um, I did kind of play it for a second, but it was just a sound test, so we're kind of going to ignore that for a second. Um, the way the last episode, or chapter, ended was a little bit interesting. Not a whole lot happened. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Oh, I hope that's not a real guy on the on the wall. A thing! Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it in, is in heaven. What else does I click on? Ha ha! Give us each day our daily bread. Oh, well that's that's good. Yep. Anyway, the last episode basically, or chapter ended with basically the character you played as discovered some guy who committed suicide and he was like completely mad. And I don't know, he was doing some crazy shit throughout the entire thing. Which is sins for we ourselves forgive our debtors. Oh no. Something's gonna happen. Oh no! Ew! <laughs> Deliver us from evil! <laughs> ah! Mm. At least the opening's always nice. I'm assuming this is the same opening as chapter one. Carlos Viola. I like Carlos. Carlos is a good man. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't watch the last chapters, it was interesting. There wasn't a whole lot of jump scares. I doubt. I'm starting to believe these games really aren't about the jump scares anyway. They're more about the creepy factor in storytelling, and I think that's really great because I'm strongly enjoying them so far. Oh, now tell me where are you? What do you see? Oh, this reminds me of Bob. Uh, ah, Limbo. I played that a little bit a couple years ago. That game was pretty fun. I did enjoy Limbo. I mean, I only played it for like 20 minutes, but I remember thinking it was really fun. Can I just hold it down? And oh! Who is it? Is it him? Anthony? Answer me! Do I just get close? Right. Good. Yep. That's good. Okay. Can I just hold it down, or does he just stop? So I just gotta continuously click it. What is she doing? Get close to her. Get close to Anna. Oh, God! Eat a dick, silhouettes! Eat a big fat dick! When I count to three, you'll wake up. One. Oh. <laughs> Three. Now wake up, wake up. Okay, that was highly terrifying. Alright. You can rest now, Mr. DeBit. That will be enough for today. Are these sessions really necessary? I'm confident that this is the best course of treatment for your symptoms. Now, did you ever see him again? I saw it. What did you see? Can you describe it? I struggled to find adequate words. It looked like an eye. Oh! Oh, I get the choice! I thought I was just like I had to click, and I'm like, why is the cursor there? Okay. Yeah, it looked like an eye, I guess. I mean, I don't know why I chose the other one. It was like an eye, perfectly round and dark, deep and empty, accompanied by the most horrifying, painful screams I've ever heard, inside a complete darkness, where an evil dwells deep below, a forgotten fear for human reasoning, but undoubtedly still rests deep down inside our being. In my case, that fear is already awoken. And the other option was, uh... <laughs> that was such an elaborate explanation. I can understand why you're disturbed, Mr. DeBitt. With your permission, I would like to consult on our case with a colleague of mine, a man I've known for many years, who is more versed in modern psychological practices. I think his knowledge and ex experience would be very helpful in enabling us to understand your condition. If you think it would help, Doctor, 
I live in your hands. The agony grows increasingly unbearable. And if you believe this man can help, then I welcome his aid. Thank you, Dr. Wakefield. Wakefield? I bid you good evening. I just love the sounds. It's so fantastic. Anthony, my friend, if what really happened to you? How could you have let your wife Anna die so awfully? If these doubts consume my soul. I hardly remember the time we spent together as schoolmates. I confess that betrayed beyond... That beyond your enduring friendship, I can recall a little of those years. Were your words a result of an increasing loss of sanity? In your letter, you wrote that someone awaits me. A warning to ward me from a genuine danger or merely the ravings of a brilliant mind addling by insanity. Something stirs easily within my heart. I will not rest easily again until I go back to that boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Beechworth. Rest now in peace. Is this the boarding school? This game has just such an ambiance to it. Memories. An old, quite damaged mailbox. What else we got around here? Anything I can look at? Oh, I go to the mailbox. There's a postcard inside the mailbox. Oh good, that's perfectly legible. <laughs> Dear Matthew, it has been several months and still I have heard no news from you. I rather insist that you have Abandon me, but I'm sure you remain true. I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and the honesty of your eyes. I got this address from a hospital in London and pray that it reaches you safely. If that's the case, I want you to know that I will be always waiting for you. Forever yours, Juliet Holloway. Wait, what? No idea. I just oh that's why I was going in the wrong direction ha <laughs> I'm too stupid for this <laughs> the angel Gabriel the school's emblem I remember it being very pristine but it looks neglected and dirty now what's that hey what's that I saw an eagle eyes on the floor got the ground it appears to have broken off the fountain can't pick it up won't put back won't, won't, won't put back I'll put back. I can't put it back. Fine. Let's fucking be a bitch. I don't care. Hmm. Fuck you, front door. Is that pointing to window or just left? That's just pointing to left. What the is that noise? Some dude. A locked wood coffin badly finished. It seems that whoever made it was a bit rushed to finish. Good evening. I hope you're right, and this indeed be a good evening. My name's David. I didn't know there was a cemetery here. My pleasure, Mr. David. I'm Frank Baldwin. Don't ask me why. The Monsignor. 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 Okay, that took way too long to figure out what that said. Specifically ordered to bury the corpses here. Well, I don't understand, or I should let you get back to work. Did he order to bury corpses here? Why? I don't understand. What is there to understand, Mr. Devitt? God has forsaken this place. Ah, don't you know? Here we take care of patients. Thanks for time in school. Yeah. It has been a long time since... Long time since this is not a boarding school anymore. The building is now used as a nursing home run by nuns. A former student, eh? I never heard anybody in the village speak fondly of the school. They say it closed overnight, though nobody knows why. Not a lot was known about it. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your work. Have a nice evening, alumnus David. Let's go in the back door. <laughs> just, just kidding. We're not going to do that. No. Because I'm, I'm not allowed to.
This is so weird. There's people in this game. I don't know why that weirds me out. What's that? No, sir. It is not allowed to get... No. Oh. I didn't know I was clicking on the doorway to go left. I thought I was, like, clicking on that. Excuse me, sister. Oh, good. She has red text. That's not... Concerning. Good evening, sister. Good evening. I'm Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here? Mr. DeVitt. A former student of this boarding school. As you can see, Mr. DeVitt, this stopped being an academic institution a long time ago and is now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well-being of the patients under our care. I see. Even so, may I please speak to Mr. DeVitt? I'm afraid that we are too busy to start wasting time talking about past issues. In addition, there is little to say. We sisters arrived after the boarding school had closed down. Everybody but Miss, Miss Senor, of course. Miss, Miss Senor? That's just... I don't, I'm not even exactly sure that's how that's spelled, pronounced for the spelling. I'm just starting, starting guessing. Just kind of guessing. Exactly, but you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mr. DeVitt? It'd be good for me to appreciate the passage of time. This place will help me remember. I prefer not to... Yeah. I guess that it would be a good idea to visit this place again and perceive the passage of time. Perceive the passage of time? What are you talking about? This place will help me remember. Just be as vague as possible. If you have memory problems, I would recommend you to visit a doctor immediately, and don't waste your time here. To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it. I couldn't tell you why. Was I just supposed to hit, I prefer not to talk about it to begin with? Was that just a waste of time? <laughs> I prefer not to talk about it. I couldn't tell you why this place is so important to me, but it is. A lot. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. DeVitt. I'll allow you to stay around here. I hope I won't regret my decision. Don't worry, Mother. Thank you. Well, at least I'm in my normal clothes. That makes me feel better. Okay, that's just the downstairs. What's that? Dusty old tapestry of the Virgin Mary with baby Jesus in her arms. Alrighty. So, this episode so far is starting off far less creepy than the, or this chapter. Far less creepy than the first chapter. There's just so much to look at. One of the humble beds with an unsleep. Sad. A syringe next to a flask with a label that says "Muff." Oh, okay. Yep, that's good. <laughs> Just like, hey, have some morphine. No beds. Never shells the end. Covered a well-worn Bible and rosary. Dust. Hey, who are you? Good evening, sister. Sister. All the suffering. All these tears. All our prayers unanswered. What? What do you mean, sister? All these years entrusted to the Lord, praying, looking for a sign, for something that can give me strength. Every day I hear them cry, pray, scream, and die. And what for? Where are you, Lord? Why don't you answer me? Maybe there is no Lord. <laughs> what should we do then? What is our living purpose? I can't go on, not like this. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir, I need to get back to my morphine. Right, I got you, sister. You do you. Who's that guy? Worn out in faded tapestry of Jesus Christ. Oh, this one's all long and weird. Another tapestry, though. I remember from my school days, a student dormitory was here. Can I not just, like, move it? Because it's probably in front of the door? No? Talk, bro. Gold towels. Broken mirror. There's a protruding piece. Let's go ahead and take that, I guess. Okay. The new areas in the house. A puddle in the shower hole with something shiny out of the grating. I can't see it properly. Old rusty and poorly maintained. Is there anything of use in here? Because it really doesn't seem like it. I feel like upstairs might have been a bad choice, but has anything changed in here? No, she's still just old lady. Okay. Old lady, sister nun. Whatever. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly right. Where are you? Who the fuck are you? 
doctor. I'm sorry, I'm not a doctor. Yes, I'm a doctor. Pay him no mind, he has been delirious for some days. I'm Miss Mary Vinge, and this is my brother Matthew. Juliet, cough. <laughs> why, why have you left me? Why don't you answer my letters? Cough, my letters. You see, the poor man is still obsessed with his wife. He won't accept that she left him months ago. My poor Matthew. I'm sorry, Miss Vinge. I hope he recovers. Thank you. What's that? I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it to me if you'd be so kind. As you can see, my brother is too weak to read it. Oh! Oh! No, sister, and you come back home soon. No! Now you're a bitch! Yeah, no shit, she is. <laughs> you can see a package of letters bound by Oh, <gasps> You bitch! You're stealing them. You know what? I'm gonna go over to this side. My letters! All the letters I wrote to dear Juliet. You never posted them, but why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? <coughs> How could you be so cruel? I had to do it, Matthew. You refused to see how inappropriate a match she is for you. Cause I'm a stupid bitch. Hey, me, me. Her only interest is in marrying someone of your status, of our family's status. It was for your sake I did this. I did it to protect you from that woman's treachery. No, you only thought about yourself. Oh, your vanity. I can't bear to look upon you anymore, Mary. Leave me be, from this day forward, you are no sister of mine. You dare banish me? I will stay by your side, all through your illness. Very well, Matthew. You. you will have your way. I leave you and your brother in the city very long. Farewell, brother. Fuck. Thanks. Thanks be to the Lord. You have come to reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please take this coin as a token of my appreciation. It is a lucky coin, though I hope it serves you better than it has myself. Coin. Good talk, bro. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this episode. If you like the video, go ahead and <laughs> leave, hit the like button down below or leave a comment. Say hi. I, I love talking to you guys. So, anyway, I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, see ya!